Hello, I'm Sam and I'm here today to show you how to install Fallout Shelter or any other Android application onto your Windows computer. Uh, the only program you're going to need for this is a program called Bluestacks, which you can just find easily on the internet. So you go onto Google, type in Bluestacks, the first thing that should come up will be this one. You click download for PC, if you're on a Mac it's the same idea, you just download it for your Mac. You run the program and install it like this, you might get a black screen. Run through the installer, you don't need to untick or change anything on the installer, it doesn't contain any malware. Just run through it and once it's installed we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so once it's installed, you're going to have to let it initialize, as you can see here. And once it's initialized, we might have to do a couple of settings, but it's a relatively simple process to set up the program. So once the program is finished initializing, it'll load up like this, and then you've got a version of Android ready on your computer. Now you have to set it up, so I choose not to do location, but it's really up to you. Some apps do depend on it, um, but I'd turn it off for this example. And then you're going to want to go onto the search up at the top. As you can see, there's loads of other applications you can use and things that are already made and in, built into it, which you can download easily. You're going to type in Fallout Shelter. It doesn't really matter what you type in at this point because we're just doing the setup. So as you can see here, you're going to have to enable this synchronization service. And now it's going to ask you to sign into your Google account. I left that out because obviously you don't use my account. And then you don't want to tick either of these boxes because you're not actually using it as a proper Android device. You want to sort of keep it separate, or at least I do. Uh, after that, it's going to ask you to sign into your account again. Just click Next. That might not have worked, but it'll ask you again later if it didn't. Um, so now we're going to go on the App Store and actually search for the application we want to use. So we type in Fallout Shelter again. And again, here we go. Like I said, it's asking me to do it again. So I'm just going to sign into my account a second time. And once that's done, the setup will complete and you'll be given the Google Play App Store. In this example, Fallout Shelter is actually on the front page of the App Store, but we're going to go through the search just to show because it might not be there by the time you use this guide. So you can type in Fallout Shelter, make sure you go into Applications and scroll down a little bit. It might be at the top by the time you use it. It's only just come out, so it's quite low down in the ratings. Make sure you choose the right one by Bethesda Softworks LLC because there may be some fake versions of it on the App Store. Now you might want to check it's the real version, you know, check the reviews, see it all adds up. For this one, the downloads count is very low, but I'm sure that's just because it hasn't been updated because the app only came out yesterday. Click install, agree to the terms and conditions, and the app will begin to download. Uh, I'm going to fast forward this here, it obviously take quite a bit longer when you do it. Okay, so once that's downloaded, it'll install, you click the open button. You might get a little notification telling you it's been done if you tabbed out. You open up the application and there's one final step before we can actually use the application. The game will let us start and create a save, however it's going to ask us to install the Google Play files. And you can enable notifications if you like them. So you you know it all works, create a new vault, you can do all that. Okay, so now it's going to ask us about the Google Play files that it needs. So you just, it'll open it up for you. You click install, click accept, it'll download. Uh, you may have to restart Fallout Shelter, as I do in the example here, but you might not have to either. The first time it didn't want me to do it, the second time it did. So, um, if that pops up, you might need to restart it, as I do here. So just close it. and then just give the application a quick restart just to make sure that all the files have installed properly. So just close everything down and drop back to the main menu, click Fallout Shelter and the game will start up again. And I'm just going to leave the game on here for a little bit just to prove that it actually works and it all runs fine and everything. And that should be it. The game should start up again and should work perfectly. Give me a like if this video has helped you out and it's helped you get Fallout Shelter running on your computer and give me a dislike if you know you've had any trouble with it so I know that people are having trouble and I can try and help them out. So if you do have any issues, just comment down below and I'll see if I can either make a new version of the video if something changes or just give you some better instructions. Right, thanks for watching.